down the hammer and pick up the pencil. You're about to listen to the Savvy Radio Show. Learn from real life real estate investors, experience revealed with the Savvy Landlord as your host. Hello, Savvy Investors. This is your friend, Steve Van Kalenberg. You tuned in to the Savvy Radio Show. That's right. That's what this is. And today is Nerd Rock Thursday. <laughs> it used to be Nerd Rock Wednesday. But I'm going to talk a little bit tech and uh, what sites that I'm using right now. And hopefully this will help you. So just real quick, I'll just run through these three websites or services that I'm using right now. One is do it later message automation. Okay. That's one that I'm using and it, it is phenomenal. What I love about it is like, if I get up at five in the morning and I can schedule a text message that can drop at seven o'clock for my contractor, let's say. You can do text messaging with scheduler, bulk scheduler. You can use it for marketing. You can also, the app does reminders. So if you want a reminder, like take your drink more water, like I have that reminder coming in every day. It also has another feature I haven't figured it out called fake incoming call. I don't know what that is. It, it supports um, dual SIM support. It, it's just, and it's really easy to work with. So this, this, what I use this for, and again, you can get this in your app store. It's called do it later message automation. And that's for an Android, but it's worth it. I've used, uh, auto SMS and I think Apple may have another one, but I use this for, for my, um, for my workers or people that for coaching, I, you know, if we have a coaching call, I'll set up a text message message 10 minutes before and I'll change it each week. But after I get off the phone with that person, I may set a message saying, Hey, how did that go? We're going to talk about that. And, or if it's to a worker for a reminder, or if it's for my staff, Hey, Friday, we need all the receipts in for the bookkeeper. So there's just so many ways that you could use do it later or automatic texting. And I love that it's a a multiple app. You can do bulk send, you can send it automatically. It also can let you know that it was sent to you, um, prior. So you don't, um, like say you can have it prompt to you. Should I send this? For example, like if you're, uh, reminding your wife how amazing she is, but you just had a little tiff and you know, you have all these things set up in your do it later app. And then you just got a little tiff. You can have the app prompts you and says, do you want me to send this one? Yes or no. So there's a lot of automation that you could use. It's called do it later. It's a great app. I use it all the time. Now, another awesome. Now this is in the web browser, but it's also a web extension. It's called light shot. And I'm going to explain to you how I use these next two apps in a very powerful way, but light shot. Now, if you go to lightshot.com, it won't bring you anywhere. This is the actual website. It's print dot S C and it's print, not with the I. So it's P R N T dot S C. So, and I know it's on Firefox or Chrome, but you can get this as an extension and what basically what it is, it, it's a screen grabber or a screenshot that you can edit and write on it. And then it also hosts it for free. So if you sign in and every time you take a screenshot, it saves it in a cloud for you. That's one good thing. But what I really love about it is that if I can take a screenshot and then it gives me a URL and I can share that URL with anyone and everyone and it saves it. I use a lot of, I use this a lot for my VAs or something really quick. Now, if I'm training someone, I may use just a traditional snippet tool and then I dump it into Google drawings. If I'm trying to, you know, really create a manual for my VA that I'm going to always constantly do. But like, I just got a, um, an email from my VA. Is this the way you want it to look? I'll, I'll use light shot, which is P R N T dot S C take it. And then I could just send them the URL. I don't have to copy and paste. I can also copy and paste and drop it into email as well. So that's why I use that. And of course I have uh, talked about mighty text 
forever. And and the only reason why I'm bringing that up today, because this is our first Nerd Rock Thursday, but MightyText.net. I'm not sure if Apple can use it, but I have something similar. But the cool thing about Mighty Text, and I'm going to explain all this to you here in a minute of how I put all this together. But you get you can basically control your phone from your laptop. I know Google already does this. I already know that iTunes already does this or iPhone or whatever the frick it is. I, Apple does this. But there's some other things that's really bomb with it. One, you can control, like you can actually pop up your whole phone on your screen and you can see notifications, you can clear notifications, you can get battery alerts where your phone is, blah, 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 blah. You could schedule messages. You can send web pages, maps, photos to your phone. You can you can text directly from Gmail to Mighty Text. Pretty happy. You can if you get the pro account, you can text to email and they sync. Um, and then you can have templates. And so you could just click a button and do it. But here's the thing that's not even on their features. The money thing that I love about this app. When you're in the app, you can email. Oh, sorry, wrong app. That app for Apple is Textra. T-E-X-T-R-A. Textra. So that so Mighty Text, I love Mighty Text. Now you need to get this. I have Textra on my phone. So I don't like on Google, and I'm assuming you can get Textra for Apple, but I don't know. So you got to verify all this on your own, folks. But here's the point. I use Textra every day, and Textra is just a messaging app instead of using your native app. If you have a Samsung, there's a messaging app. If you have a Verizon phone, it uses a Verizon messaging app, okay? Throw those away. They're bloated. They suck, and you don't want them. What you want to use is Mighty, I mean, uh, Textra, T-E-X-T-R-A. And so that's my default messenger on my phone. Now, I also use an SMS backup that automatically backs up all of my text messages in the cloud, just FYI. And that's something that you can do in Google Drive. Maybe we should do a class. Maybe all this stuff is, if it's too advanced for you, uh, let me know and I'll break it down even harder. These are just broad strokes. But Textra, what I love about Textra is that it's intuitive. There's, it's just an easier, simple, straightforward text messaging without the drama. And you can customize stuff. But the one thing I love about it, and I think I paid $6 for life, is that I can email out of my text messages. And I don't know, maybe Samsung can do this because Samsung seems to be a little bit more advanced. You can't do this on Google Messenger. And I'm not sure if you can do this on Apple. But what I can do is I can highlight certain messages and send them by email. And so let me give you an example of how I roll with this. Okay. So hang on tight. Um, if I could do this on a computer and show you actually how I do it, but I'm going to try to visualize this for you. So I, here's my scenario. <clears throat> I have a tenant or well, my partner calls me and says, Hey, there's a leak in the building. Okay. So now, what's the best way? Visualization. So I go on Google um, Google Maps. Okay, so I just had to pause and so I can get a pen and paper because I'm going to teach this on December 18th. So next week, I'm actually going to have visual aids. I'm going to go through this line by line because I've, I've learned uh, just recently, and I know I've been teaching for a long time, but a lot of people like to just go line by line, right? It show you exactly how to do it. Like some people can grab it. Like the, a lot of, I didn't realize this, that some people don't like rich dad, poor dad. I was like, how do you not like that book? It's so amazing to me. Well, I found out they don't, they don't like it because it doesn't tell you how to do it exactly. And so half of me is like, are you lazy? Just figure it out. But it's a philosophy. And so I'm trying to learn how to be a better instructor and tell you line by line. Okay. So let's get back to it. Number one. So I have a, I have a roof problem and then, so how do I do it? So I go to Google maps and I take a picture of the property. Then I use light shot print, print screen. Got it. I take a, a, a shot of it and on that software, on that, that Chrome extension, I can add an arrow or I can make notes on the photo. You can do this already on your phone. 
then it creates a URL. Now I have a URL with that image, with the arrow where the leak is. Then I copy that URL and in my mighty text, I text the roofer, hey, I have a leak at this property, here's the image. So two things happen, they see the image, they know what's going on, they know where I'm talking about, and then I have it recorded. Then I get onto my phone, and then I go to Textra, my texting app, I highlight all those messages, and I email that to him, and I CC the property manager so everyone knows that they're on the same page. It's, it takes out all the guesswork. And so this roofer knows not to call me back, but to call the property manager. The property manager has the exact same text message so they know what's going on and everyone's on the same page and I basically get out of the loop. So it's really interesting. I use this for negotiating. So when someone in my circle, they may be a friend and this is where I get stung. I try to help someone and I give them maybe some terms that I normally don't do. Like I cut, cut the interest rate down or I say, hey, you can work off the deposit or I just do someone a solid. And what happens is, is that I forget that I do it. And then down the line, they're like, what the, you know, and it becomes an issue. So what I've learned when I negotiate with people back and forth and I get the terms, I get them to confirm, I go, I highlight it on my texture app and I email them a copy and I CC my general manager. So we all know I said that it's going to be $500 a month for the rent and we're gonna work off the deposit. It just all makes sense. It's all in my text message. And then I could email it and control it. I could use it for legal documents because they got a, a copy of it. And then I have a software on my phone that automatically syncs all my text messages to the cloud, to Google Drive, so then I can access it. <sighs> I know, Hi, hopefully that helps you. If it did, let your boy know. If there's another software that I need to be using, let your boy know. This is a community to help people. But here's the goal. Your goal is to be the best real estate or investor entrepreneur ever so you can become better, make more money, so you can buy more assets. That's the goal. Have a great day. Look forward to you. If you want to see this live in action, I'm going to do this live December 18th, Oklahoma City at noon at the Red Tree Center. Other than that, go to SavvyInvestors.com and you'll find more episodes to help you, to encourage you. Have a great day. What is the Savvy Bootcamp? Are you struggling to get to the next level as a business owner, as an investor? Do you want to multiply your income? Sign up for the Savvy Bootcamp, a strategic and supercharged one night and one day event designed to shortcut your learning process and propel you forward. Just value, no upsells, and an intimate setting to build relationships with like-minded investors. We will be covering how personality profiling can make you a millionaire, outsourcing and the nitty-gritty of maximizing your property management, scaling your business through systems and automation, technology hacks you should be using every day, and how to raise private money. Go to www.savvybootcamp.com now to register or to find out more. Thanks for listening to the Savvy Radio Show. Glide online and listen to our other motivating episodes at SavvyRadioShow.com. Connect on Twitter at LandlordBook and always be buying assets.